Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Lazing for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign for the week of the 25th of Ju uh, of the year 2017 and the week beginning from the 19th until the 25th. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This has been a wonderful, positive energy vibration. Um, it is the week of the Seven of Cups for you guys. So your focus in this week is going to be the Seven of Cups. This is the Sagittarian's focus. And as usual, you guys are the Malachia sign um, in the Zodiac. And your week is going to have uh, the Seven of Cups. Okay, as we look forward, and the week is the energy vibration of inner strength, inner strength. And this is a wonderful positive energy. It's this inner strength that is coming to you. Whoever you are, there's going to be the help of a king, queen of pentacles that is going to support you in whatever way. Some of you men are going to connect with the king of Pente the queen of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles is the energy vibration of. Uh, um, the Queen of Pentacles is the energy vibration of a uh, um, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. So, whoever this woman is, it's going to um, affect most of the men because she's sitting there very prom positive. Um, it's going to affect most of the men. The energy vibration of your own energy vibration is here in this reading, especially for the men. So, it is obviously that the men. Are gonna be supported by the Queen of Pentacles in whatever way it can be in a business or in a private and personal relationship this person this woman is coming back from out lifetime and lifetime before is somebody who you have known okay whatever that was happening in your life you're leaving it behind and it's, it's as if it was a burden and you're leaving it behind and you are um, picking up with the queen of pentacles because there seems to be a love from a lifetime before and um you you want to connect with her because you feel something that you have never felt before with whoever you have been going with and you're leaving that behind you you're dropping that burden off okay i don't know <laughs> as for some men out there i don't know who you are what but this is the message that i'm getting for you sagittarians men that um you're leaving something behind and you're picking up with a capricorn person it's not a capricorn but it is um someone of the earth sign which can be a capricorn a virgo or a, a, a um Virgo or <laughs> a Taurus yeah I'm, I'm sorry I'm laughing because it is just so strange because um um your reading is just so okay you have the wheel of fortune so obviously this woman is coming from out of a karmatic relationship and this woman is going to open up a lot of doors for the men and this is going to be good, but not all the men, because some uh, some men are going to be feeling the hand of justice, whatsoever has happened there. And um, it's 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 it is weak. Business is it's about you per, on a personal level. So whoever you are out there, and all you Sagittarians, is the week is about karmatic challenges karmatic changes the wheel of fortune is here on tuesday in the beginning of the week so a lot of people are going to be um finding out their destiny and that sort of a thing in this week which is um very positive you also have the um nine of the ten of cups so it's going to be a happy family life so what's where it's happening this is this is this is this is really super sweet because um you sagittarians are I consider you guys to be just one of the, the most wonderful people in the sign. And I guess because the Elas are also in this, because next year I'm changing, changing up the whole reading and uh, um, the new um, Zodiac energy are going to get their own reading. But you Sagittarians are so powerful. You're the Elas. You know, and this is so wonderful because what is happening here is that you have the Ten of Cups, uh, um, with the Queen of Pentacles, so I'm not sure um, who is this, whether it's a Capricorn or and whichever one of them, because the Capricorns are made the nurturing aspect, and the the Mark they are they work from 
inside out and the Tauruses are the go-getters so whoever whatever earth sign woman you you men are going to connect with um, it's 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 going to be good okay all right some people always said yeah you speak about the men but you never speak about the women if I don't speak about um, one of them the um, um, the women that means that everything is going to be okay for you stuff are going to be good for you so if I don't speak um, about you that means stuff are going to be good it's just that I, sometimes I get messages um, before I start reading on Monday we have the eight of cups which means that you have left the situation and you have left that situation behind and it's that situation was a burden so for some people the eight of cups you have left that situation behind and now you're over it and you're moving on um, this can happen for some people who have um, decided to end a relationship and you have been hanging on and the other person has been hanging on and you finally put a point behind it and you decide that um, I've met someone new and and this is what I was looking for and you're going to go with that person okay so it can affect every everyone it doesn't have to affect the men because the message was coming out for the men um, I gave the men message but this is going to affect everyone so it can be that you have been in a relationship because um, it is the energy of I'm seeing um, people leaving relationships behind and realizing that it has been a burden and they're leaving it behind okay as we move forward we have on Tuesday as I said another fire energy which is a wonderful wonderful Tuesday is going to be one of your best day Tuesday Thursday is going to be one of your best day and we have the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is here it's a very very positive the wheel of fortune is this luck as Jupiter bring in your luck to you okay so remember you Sagittarians you're from the sign of the planet and the sign of Jupiter and they are bringing you in wonderful wonderful um, um, blessings in all different aspects of your life so this is going to be good and all the swords are falling away from you so whatever people have been doing against you and blocking you and whatever whoever because this is going to affect all of you in different ways uh, the wheel of fortune is bringing you out of that situation again Wednesday is the seven your number energy is seven um, this is good because the seven of cups energy is here which is your um, energy for the week but yet still um, it is also um, a lot of um, things are happening for you which is just going to be wonderful going to be positive going to be good a lot of things are happening for you okay so this is good um, a lot of new possibilities and things are going to open up in your life especially for um, the men okay um, for the Sagittarius men um, some of you um, new love is coming in with a Capricorn woman why am I saying the Capricorn uh, for a hurt sign person I have no idea and, and obviously it's a Capricorn because um, um, I'm getting this Capricorn thing so I have to go by my intuition and um, and, and and some of you are going to have um, relationships with the hair people too and um, some of you are going to be um, caught on by justice so if you have done something that was injustice the wheel of fortune is going to bring you the book from justice okay so if you have done something injustice by someone the wheel of fortune is going to bring you the book from justice and she's going to be kai art on you okay so it is affecting the your own energy is affecting a lot of people in different ways as we move on on Friday we have the knight of cups the knight of cups energy is a, is a positive energy the Knight of Cups energy, these are affecting the people between the ages of 20 and 30, 18 and 20, 35. And this is a wonderful situation. You're leaving um, behind a situation that no longer affects you. Okay. So remember at the beginning of the week, we had the Eight of Cups of somebody leaving some a burden behind. This has an effect on the people who are between the ages of 18 and 20, 35. Okay. You are leaving a situation behind and this is good for the rest of the people. It's going to be a wonderful day. As we move on, we have another six. So we have number six and number seven and number six to six and number seven to seven in this week. The energy vibration of the six of um, 
the six of pentacles is a wonderful perfect wonderful vibrated energies because what is happening is that um, doors of opportunities good things are coming in blessings are coming in this is just a positive positive card because your business is going to be a huge success doors of opportunities are going to open in for your business so for the people who have businesses and people who are thinking about doing businesses go ahead it's a yes week it's a yes thing because um, your business is going to be positive money is going to vibrate um, in and it's going to be a positive positive energy so as we move forward we have the energy vibration of um, uh, the hermit and hermit is a water energy and the hermit is um, letting you know to look within because you're spiritually balanced look within because you are spiritually balanced uh, um, choose inner wisdom over everything else uh, and you are going to be perfectly aligned with yourself so this is a wonderful message to end your week so again um, your week is all about uh, personally personal transformation um, the wheel of fortune is bringing those business people wonderful um, new energies but also other people um, in your personal life it's bringing you fortune um, um, the wheel of fortune is also releasing you from things that you no longer need and it is bringing you wonderful blessings of uh, financial help and that sort of a thing money coming in your life in the business section and also in the other section um, for um, the um, uh, the aspect of your um, yourself um, because you are in your own reading uh, as I said um, whoever you are and you have done something in justice you Sagittarius with the law it's going to bring you down okay so for um, whoever you are um, for some of you you're going to connect with someone who is the quick king queen of sword and um, you so some men are going to connect and some people so the women will be connecting with the king of sword the men will connect with the queen of sword um and the men will connect with the queen of pentacles and the women will connect with the king of pentacles so it's going to affect each and every person in different ways but it's all going to come out good because you have the ten of cups and ten of cups on my right hand side you can see a happy family life whatever whatever is happening it's a positive week with love and family for those who are in love and family I'm working with Archangel Michael this week and Archangel Michael what is the message that you have for the Sagittarius in this week prayer healing you guys are the second one or the third one who has gotten this card so obviously and and shield yourself whatever is happening pray and shield yourself because people are sending and using negative energies energy healing work Thank you for sending Elon energies to me and through me for my own blessings and for those around me. Thank you for connecting with me and lovingly um, with loving and higher integrity healers and teachers of uh, the energy Elon Mordalvo. So what is saying is that you know you call upon Archangel Michael and said thank you for sending Elon energies to myself through me for my own blessings and for all those around me so this is this is extremely good this is really really a positive energy because you're asking for healing blessings for yourself but yet still people around you thank you for connecting me to loving and I integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modality this this is good because um, it is it wants you to know that by using an accent for healing energies you will be ill your work will be ill whoever you are your situation will be ill and you need to, to learn to protect yourself because the other card that is here it said shield yourself and I'm not sure I you know um, this the this week is going to be a week where a lot of people because this is second time this healing energy came up it came up also for another sign okay I'm asking the angel whatsoever question if you have a question that you need answers I'm asking the, the angels uh, um, I'm using the angel answers whatever question you have um, ask your question and this will be the answer
remain positive remain positive so what story is happening I'm not I'm, I'm sure if you guys watch your Sun Moon and Rising sign this has come up for another sign already remain positive and helpful people are going to be there for you okay remain positive remain positive whatever is happening in your life whenever the storm and the hurricane is coming over you remain positive and it says the angels are asking you to keep an optimism attitude there is a very positive momentum beginning to build towards the creation of your desires you're speeding your dreams along by maintaining a cheerful and confident the nominee um, it may seem as though your plans are taking a long time to manifest but very soon you will see a change don't allow yourself to lose hope when your dreams are so close to coming through so this is another wonderful positive energies for you guys and I'm leaving you with the positive energies I've always I should leave you guys with positive energies at all time but sometimes I'm so um, in my reading and I want to say to you please listen to um, the the month reading another time because you're in the fourth week there's another week in in, in June listen to your son sun and rising sign and the third quarter reading is also upload for the month of july august and september so go listen to those who's reading there is a lot of information that is going to come come through and and then you can see your way forward and i want to say namaste have a wonderful week and I like share these videos and we talk next week